Hey guys, let me show you how I made this column. As you can see, this is a column. Okay, you can see a column like this. Just one entity. It's not, it's not a combination of anything. Okay, it's a column that you can always pick and use somewhere else from your on other projects or, or whatever. You can see like this. Just select it and you can always put it somewhere else and use it just like so. Okay. I want to show you how I made this column. First thing first, what I did was I went to column. Okay. Go to column. And all you need to do is decide the segment of, decide the segment you want, the amount of segment you want. As you can see in this particular column, we have, um, one extrusion, two extrusion, which is one segment, two segment, and this entire long one here is another segment, which is the third segment, and then this one, fourth segment, and this one, fifth segment, and then the last one, which is the base and sixth segment. We have six segments here. So when you go to your, your column, you just go to segment, okay? And then you, you go to segments, make sure this is all here originally, okay? It should be here originally. And then, um, we, it's actually a square, square, um, column. So just click this so it will change to a square column. You can make it if your thickness of this column is supposed to be around 600. You can not have it at 600. Now, you go here and then you add segments you want one, two, three, four, five. Plus the one that was existing, which makes six, six. You can see we have six segments here. Okay. And what we do is you start putting the measurement of each segment like this. This one here is about, um, let me say, okay, for this particular one. Just fix this column here, okay? Let's just leave this one here. So as you can see, this one I want to sh I want to do exactly this this particular column. So let me show you the size of the top segment, which is this. You can see the width of the top one is seven hundred, which is here and here, and then we have the thickness, okay? The height from here to here, which is this, 100. And you can use um, percentage or the actual height. So you will have to, it, maybe your, this option is here. This option is here. You just have to select this so that you can always type the, the actual amount you want. So we went down also on this, on the second segment and we reduced it to 600, 600. You can see. The top one is 700, 700. Okay, make sure you take this so that when you put this number, the down one will change. Okay? So just make sure it is linked. And then this one, okay, 600 and it's linked. So just place 600 and it will be a, a perfect square. Okay? Then the, the uh, third segment, which is this. Okay? I'm going to come back to that. But um, the fourth segment, the same thing, which is 700, okay, 700. And the fifth segment is 800, a little bigger than the top one, you can see it. And then the last one, which is the base, you can see much, when you select them, you will see that it is selected in your 3D preview. Okay, and this one is 900. You can see the height here, 900, okay. And then the, the width, uh, 700, 700. And then the height is um, 900. Then we have to come back to this part. This big one here, you can see it has some grooves on it. It doesn't come that way. It's a complex column. Okay. What I did was I had to create a complex column first and then come to this part and change it. It was originally here. As you can see here. If you check this one now, you see that this option is here. So what I did was I created a complex profile, okay, saved it. And then when you save it, when this is here, you come here, 
this will, this will activate itself. So that means you can always select the profile you created. Okay, I'm going to show you where I created the profile. Now this is this this is what we are looking looking at this one here, okay. Then I haven't selected this option. Then we have the option to select our profile. Okay, this was the profile I made. Okay, you can see a lot of profiles here also. So let's just say okay, okay, and I'm going to go to the profile where I created this group here. Let's go to complex profile profile manager okay so i'm going to select that profile i created which is i think is this okay? column one okay and i'm going to say edit to show you what it looks like so this is it it was originally a column which i edited okay you can always use a fill to start with so you can just create fill like that okay box like so Okay, then what I now did was I also took a few and I just did something like this. Maybe let me draw it here, more like so. Okay, then I now took the curve out like this and then I now brought it back again to give us a curve like this. So the next thing I now did was place them. Okay, I place them on it. But what I did, I actually calculated it so that it will fit. You can see that it starts from here and ends with the same curve. Okay, so I calculated it. You can see that the dimension of this is 45. And then I did the entire stuff, which is 45. So it means that I, I said, 45 divided by, um, 450 divided by 45 means on this part, it is 10. On this part, it's 10. On this part, it's 10. On this part, it's 10. It doesn't have to be 45. It doesn't have to be 450. If this was, okay, for instance, let me see the measurement of this. Let's use 500 for, for a start. And take this one back. So, so we have, this is 500 and 500 so this now we don't know i'm going to measure it this is 45 okay now i'm going to take a line and make um we have 500 right so it means that um we should make this at least uh, 50 50 so I'm going to take a line and just draw 50, sorry, 50, okay, and just place this here. You can see the remaining one, so just drag this one down here. So we have successfully, you can delete the line, I have successfully made this 50, so place it at the top here, and then you multiply, okay, spread by 50, okay. So we click and then you spread it, okay? Now you can see that it is on the, at the end. So just all you need to do is just copy, make a copy of it, okay? You can say Control D, Control or Control Shift D, okay? Make a copy, mirror it, Control Control M, okay? Um, let me just go this and then pick. Make a copy of it again, then rotate it to this part. Okay, then you mirror a copy of it, Control M, Control. So you place it, and we have successfully created this exact um, type of design on our column. You can always play with the design like so, or you can even create a different thing entirely. Let's create something else. Let's use this, for instance, let me put a node here, a node here, and create this. So when you place this here, okay, let's reduce this, scale it to 50, okay, 
I'm going to multiply it. Okay, let's do the same on this part. Okay, so I'm going to save out this particular one. But before I do, I'm going to just copy it like Ctrl C, okay, and delete. I'll delete it, then I'll duplicate this. Duplicate, don't save, okay. I want to duplicate this one, so I'll just say it has duplicated, added one to for me at the end. I'll just say, okay. I'll delete this also, and then cop, uh, paste that one which I which I copied earlier, and just put it here like so. And we have just successfully created the different design on this. So I'm just going to select the entire stuff and change it to white. And then I'll save, okay, and make sure this is activated column, okay, and then and that's, that's fine. So I can easily switch this center one just go to the column select go to the column you can see then go to this part here i this is the one i just created and you just say okay as you can see we have successfully created this one here okay you can always make it a curve the same way curve the um, column the same way okay so that's pretty much how I made this particular column. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.